Here's another gold nugget I found from uh, MSN. And the feed is from Evening Standard. And it's entitled NASA to put first woman and next man on the moon by 2024. And the article is by Bonnie Christian. Before we get started, uh, look at the picture they provided for us. Uh, I think that is Neil Armstrong. First of all, the uh, the light is behind him because we can see the shadow going to the bottom left of the picture, and the light seems to be concentrating just on him at the moment. And if you look on the ground ground behind him, it's uh, it's dark. It's, it's, it should be uniformly light because the only light source they had was from the sun so this confirms to me that it was filmed inside area 51 uh, sound studio which are the the biggest sound studios in the world this is not real no way jose Look at the uh, the flimsy outfit he's wearing. the The suit is looks like it's made of cotton. Not very very rigid. Or for for a space faring person. Anyway, uh, it goes. The article goes. NASA has said it will aim to put the first woman and next man on the moon in five years. The Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama will serve as the headquarters for the new program to build a spacecraft to put astronauts back on the moon by 2024. The endeavor will likely cost 20 and 30 billion dollars Companies including billionaire entrepreneur Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, Elon Musk's SpaceX and Lockheed Martin Corp are developing different potential comp components for the lunar lander. They will compete for NASA funds under competitive bids due to due to be solicited later in the year. The Space Agency's administrator named the program Artemis and requested Congress increase NASA's proposed budget for next year by $1.6 billion. By the way, uh, the name Artemis is from Greek mythology and from behind the name.com website it says meaning unknown possibly related either to greek artemis safe or artemos a butcher artemis was the greek goddess of the moon and hunting the twin of apollo and the daughter of zeus and leto she was known as Diana to the Romans. So it figures, what are the chances that this new program will be called Artemis, the twin of Apollo? The mind boggles. The article continues. The Apollo lunar spacecraft was built at the same center half a century ago. Eugene Andrew Cernan, an American astronaut, was the last man to walk on the moon in 1972. I don't think so. Nobody has ever, no man has ever landed on the moon. It's all science fiction. 
Anyway, it continues. The new lunar missions comes as NASA seeks to resume human space missions from American soil for the first time since the space shuttle program ended in 2011. Vice President Mike Pence in March announced an accelerated timeline for NASA to put, to put astronauts back on the moon by 2024, cutting in half a previous goal to get there by 2028. President Donald Trump's own support for the mission has been unclear. In June, the President urged NASA to focus instead on much bigger initiatives like going to Mars. <laughs> yeah, right. Undercutting his previous stated support for the Lunar Initiative. This is all bollocks. <laughs>